Hello, I'm Shane from Thrive Themes, and this is an update on the work we've been doing to make our tools GDPR compliant. The goal is to help you make your website GDPR compliant as easily as possible, while also giving your website visitors the best, most seamless experience possible. In this update, I'm going to talk about what we've already released so far. I'm going to talk about what is still in progress and still coming. So let's get into it. What have we already released? In our past two releases of our plugins, we have added several of the announced GDPR features already. For example, Thrive Comments has been made GDPR compliant for the comment notifications and reply notifications and so on. Also, Thrive Comments and Thrive Quiz Build and Thrive Ultimatum and various other tools have been changed in the way they store cookies. So any one of our tools that stores cookies now does this in a way that does not store any personally identifiable information. And therefore, you don't need to get extra consent. And this is an important point. We have made changes to our plugins that mean you don't have to show an extra prompt to your visitor that says, hold on, before you click this, you know, we store cookies, blah, 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 blah. Do you consent? Yes, okay. And I think this is important to keep in mind because as a website visitor, it's not a good experience to come to a website and see, you know, uh, click here to accept cookies, click here to accept this. Oh, we're, we track this, you know, read the privacy policy, click here, check this box to agree that you've read and, and so on, right? And of course we don't, we don't read the privacy policy, right? Nobody does. We don't want to spend two hours reading the fine print of a website and then agreeing to it when all we wanted was a brownie recipe. So that's why we have focused some of our work here on making sure that you don't need to add more prompts and more checkboxes and things that you can just keep using our tools and it's seamless for you, it's seamless for your visitors and it is all compliant. Another feature we have released is a profiling option in Thrive Quiz Builder. You can now choose whether you wanna associate specific answers in the quiz to specific email addresses or whether you just wanna have the aggregate data. And if you get the aggregate data, you don't need extra consent. And finally, in Thrive Leads, in the reporting area, you will find that for every email address of someone who signed up, it's associated with a specific opt-in form of where they signed up. And this counts as proof. You can prove that this person signed up through this form, through the data we collect in Thrive Leads. So those are the things that we have already released to help you keep GDPR compliant. As it turns out, WordPress, the official WordPress team, are building what they call a data export and removal tool. So it will become an official WordPress feature that there will be a place that a visitor can go to see all of the data that's being collected about them by this website so they can have insight on it and they can also request to have that data removed. Originally, we thought that we would have to build something like this ourselves for our tools, but WordPress announced that they were building this and what we want to do is hook all of our tools into this WordPress feature because ultimately that's a much better experience both for you and your visitors. If there's just one single place they can go, the ideal outcome here is that in this one place, all of our tools send our data there and all of the other tools you use on your website, any other plugins and so on you use that track data about a visitor would all add that data to the same central place. That would be the ideal outcome and that's what we wanna help work towards. Unfortunately, this feature was delayed twice in a row, but the good news is that just a few days ago, the beta version was released, so we can now start using this and testing it and making sure that our integrations work. So that is in progress. And the second thing that's in progress is a checkbox feature for the lead generation element. So whenever you build an opt-in form in a Thrive Themes tool, you will be using our lead generation element and we will add an option to add a checkbox there to customize the text of that checkbox and to make the sign up to the email service conditional on that box being checked. So initially this will be very simple, just a single checkbox. We will later on make this a bit more sophisticated, give you an option to add more than one checkbox, add more conditions. This will all be a bit complicated and because it's complicated, we cannot get this done before the deadline, but we will have a simple checkbox option before the deadline. And this brings me to another important point about GDPR compliance. You don't actually have to add checkboxes to your opt-in forms in order to be compliant. In my opinion, in fact, it is not the best way to do it. It's not the best way to get the consent you need. Instead, you can change the way you frame your offer. You can change the way you explain your offer as well as changing the nature of your offer in order to make it compliant without needing additional consent. 
And from a user experience perspective, so from the perspective of your visitors, again, I believe this is a better experience for your visitors if they don't have to like read the fine print, agree to stuff and so on, if they just sign up like before. And to that end, we are also going to publish a tutorial that explains how to do this. It basically explains what we recommend you do from a marketing perspective to stay compliant, but also not lose your conversions. Because I think that the typical approach that you often see recommended where, you know, so there's an opt-in offer and there's an extra compliance step to sign up to a newsletter. Well, most people, if they see that and they say, I can either have a free thing or I can have a free thing and a newsletter, they will be like, well, I don't need another newsletter, right? Nobody wants more email. So you will really lose on the conversion rate front. So it's much better to reframe your offer or change your offer in such a way that the newsletter and the offer aren't really separate and you can still get consent in just the one step of someone opting in. So we'll talk about exactly how to do that and how to change your opt-in forms and your offers in an upcoming tutorial. All right, that wraps up our GDPR updates. As a final note, I also wanna say that we are staying on top of everything, third-party services and everything like in the universe around Thrive Themes products. So we are looking at what other tools are doing, for example, email marketing services that we integrate with. We're looking at what they are doing to be GDPR compliant. If they update their APIs, we are ready and willing to update our integrations to somehow make all of this more seamless. For the time being, most of these tools have announced that they're gonna make changes, but basically none of them, or almost none of them, have actually released any changes. And that's also a final note I wanna say, if you are looking at the calendar and you're going, oh my God, you know, the deadline for GDPR is coming really close, don't worry about it so much, because from what I'm seeing, nobody's ready for this, right? All the service providers are talking about they're going to, but they're not really ready for it yet. The regulators aren't ready yet. There's been an interesting post about that recently as well. The regulators say we're not ready to enforce any of these laws, and certainly websites at large are not ready for this yet. So don't panic if you can't get everything in shape by May 25th, because basically no one else can either. I think we can relax. From our side, we're doing everything we can to get as much of this done before the deadline. We're gonna continue working on further improvements after the deadline, but I do think it's something that there's no need to panic right now. All right, so that's another long and rambly update about legislation and stuff, which is almost unavoidable, but that's the way these things are. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.